what's, what's the saying there? Pally good, Maradona better, George best. Best. With McCready and McCready's made a pass. And it's a magnificent goal. Yes. What a magnificent goal. You know, you went out every week to watch him and you knew that he would conjure up something, you know, and it was always going to be special. Players are losing this ball in the sun, but it was best who picked up that kid flick. Driven wide. Yes! He's got that charisma, that just that certain bit of magic that United have always held. He's got that mystery about him, that bit of legend. For me, the absolute best. Well, everyone certainly thought so in the 60s. George Best was one of the most iconic figures of the era, and with his pop star looks, he became known as the fifth Beatle. But for United fans, it was always only about the football. In the early, mid-60s, a young lad from, from Northern Ireland came across, and the whole celebrity thing was the first thing to kick off. That was all just an aside from me. It was when he was on the football pitch and uh, what he could do with the ball. When I played football in the schoolyard when I was a kid, the only player I ever wanted to be was George Best. He was the pop star footballer of his day, uh, but his skills on the football field were absolutely unbelievable. Perrin forward to Best. Oh, he's going to get number five, yes! There is the boy with the beetle haircut. Here comes Best again. What a player this boy is, he's got another! What a player! Greatest football I've ever seen. And you might say, well, yeah, that was then, and maybe you're looking through rose-tinted glasses and you're building him up in your own mind. No, I saw him, and he was that good. All eyes were on George ahead of the 1968 European Cup final against Benfica, where he was a marked man. Best. And it's a foul, oh, and a nasty one by Cruz. He wasn't the biggest of men, but he was as hard as nails. You never saw him rolling around 100 times on the floor after a tackle. If he did go down, he got straight back up and won the ball back. Now, best. Oh, he's got a big chance! Oh, he must! He has! His goal in extra time opened the floodgates. United won 4-1, and George had helped fulfil his manager's dream. Weeks later, he was named European Footballer of the Year, and it seemed he had the world at his feet. Charlton. Best! The pitches he played on, the tackles he used to ride. I was lucky enough to be at the game when he took the mickey out of Chop Harris. I was in the Stretford paddock, made him look a fool, and just rounded it and put it into the Chelsea net. Can he do it? He surely must! He went down on his knees in front of the Stretford then, you know, and it was just absolutely fantastic. That's what makes you want to go, and that's what gets you off your seat when you see players with that sort of skill. I suppose the nearest to, to George Best in, in that respect today would be Messi. He was never afraid to try anything. So two dummies, and now has made a chance for himself. He's hat trick! Six goals against Northampton, and I think he actually felt embarrassed for, for, for the Northampton team. You know, there was no fantastic celebrating afterwards. George Best! But George had problems off the pitch, and in 1974 he quit United at the age of 27. It was a premature end to a wonderful career, but for those who saw him play, he'll always be the best. He wanted to be remembered as the greatest ever player. Well, to me, he's, he's achieved that. He's a genius, and uh, we'll never see his like again. <laughs>